New York Daily News photographer Todd Maisel is on the scene at Ground Zero, documenting the tragedy as it unfolds. Some people were focused on that building, but there was so much going on right here on the ground that I just said, you know, this is where I need to be looking. Maisel snaps many pictures that day, including this one of a young Port Authority police officer named Christopher Amoroso. In the photo, Amoroso's face is burned. He escorts a woman to safety, but it's not his last heroic deed of the day. I mean, who knew that this was gonna be the last moments I was gonna see this man alive, that anyone was gonna see of him alive. He went in, some of my friends went in that I saw on the street. They went back in and, and they got killed. When her husband is killed, Jamie Amoroso has only $12 in savings and makes just $200 a week. Congress sets up the September 11th Victim Compensation Fund to compensate people who were injured or who lost loved ones on September 11th. In August 2004, nearly three years after her husband's death, Amoroso receives $2 million from the fund. Tom Boyle is assistant inspector in charge for the U.S. Postal Inspection Service in New York. We handed her $2 million with really no help, no guidance on how and what to do with that money. Guidance comes in the form of Kevin Dunn. He's a pro, a broker at MetLife. What's more, he's a friend, someone she thinks she can trust. That time in her life must have been just so dark. And here's a guy who poses as a friend and just takes total advantage of her. American Greed, Thursday, 10 Eastern on CNBC. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.